recently done it. In 2010, they, their state Democratic Party decided to open the primary. California went to a top two. It's a different system. Currently at the Oklahoma State and Democratic Convention, the, the Tiffany, a yeah, Tulsa yeah, County yeah, delegate, is speaking, I believe, against the resolution to include independence in our Democratic primaries in Oklahoma. She is still speaking with great accolades, especially when she mentioned Bernie Sanders, a hot contender in the state of Oklahoma. All right, we're at the Oklahoma State Democratic Convention, not knowing if I'm like this on her floor. Tiffany from Tulsa County, a delegate, is speaking. Uh, we're hearing noises from the galleries. We are discussing the resolution for or against allowing independents to vote in Democratic primaries, a temporary experiment. We'll see. They're discussing the Steve Largent election. We have 230,000, I believe, that they said, independents in the state of Oklahoma. Her time is concluded. We are live at the Oklahoma State Democratic Convention, the second state Democratic Convention of this year, to settle this one issue, this one resolution. We've had two governors speak, past governors. It's been an amazing convention so far. There are those of you in this room who, who disagree with us on this issue, but we still appreciate you. We appreciate all <laughs> we you. We have another speaker. I'm not for sure right which there. side he's so on. Despite the fact that we may have some, he thinks some everybody's with him. At least in appearance up here, understand that at the end of the day, we are all Democrats, all moving I, in the same direction. And I truly they are not unified. <laughs> Looks like people are clapping for allowing independence well, this, into the Oklahoma primaries. The Democrat. The presidential debate in which on one side you had uh, Al Gore, on the other side you had Dan Quayle, and right in the middle. I'm on a phone, so I'm not James used to right? and he speaking on the phone. Looked this way, and he looked that way, uh, and he looked this way, and he the... looked that way, and then they finally came to Stockdale, and they said, uh, they asked Admiral Stockdale a question, and what, is, what did he say? Okay, he still he live. Said, Who am I? Wasn't Why for sure, I'm it's cut off twice right? on me. What's the question I asked each other? This is a good speaker, but I'm not for sure which side he's on. He's got a good voice, that's what I mean. I'm an elected office because I'm the, I'm the grandson of a UAW member and the grandson of two World War II veterans. I'm, I'm, in office, I'm in office because I'm the son of a copier repairman and a secretary who never made much money at, at all and never were able to put me through a private school to pay for my education. I had to work for it, so did they. That's the reason I ran for office to fight for people like them. That's why I'm in the legislature. But why are we here today? Why are we here as a Democratic Party? And that's the question that you have to answer before you vote today. If I'm still not for sure if he's for or against it. Our main goal is simply to increase the number of registered Democrats. He's halfway through his time. If that's why we're here, then you can't do this. But if you think, as do I, that our main goal as Democrats isn't just to get more people registered as Democrats, but actually to get more Democrats elected, then that, is, and that, that requires an entire election result. I don't know what to say about this man's speech. On the other side are going to say that it's all about choosing, choosing our candidate. They're right. But you know, at the end of the day, when the oh, he's for it now. voted me in in 2006 by about a nine point margin, when I won by about five or six hundred. Thank you for those you in the know, chat room. Democrats who put me there. Thank God that they elected me in the primary, but when you Democrats who put me in office, I don't stand here today as a Democratic. Oh, so he's so slamming Democrats. Democrats in my district. I stand here because it's Democrats getting hot in the gallery. And I reached out to them. I'm at the back of the gallery. And so what we're asking to do now is so I can do my commentary. We're to be that big tent party. Be the party of inclusiveness. 
There should be a break after discussion, and I will walk around and ask what people think. These are the common people, the working people, the lawyers, the carpenters, the farmers of Oklahoma. This is the group of an circle of inclusiveness. And they would have been talking to everybody while our folks are just talking to independents. This puts our candidates in front of the faces that are going to make a difference. Come Some of the speakers have had people in the gallery call them liars. It's been pretty heated. I've been to a few conventions. This is heated. We were 2,000 votes. I'm just thankful the air conditioning is working. From being Speaker of the House, Danny Morgan, in 2006. True story. We lost Ada by two votes. Again, we are live from the Oklahoma State you know Democratic Convention. The resolution on the floor is about including independents in our Democratic primaries that they would be able to vote. All counties are represented from the state of Oklahoma here. So you heard my colleagues say that it's not permanent. You can go back. If it doesn't work well, it's not permanent. You can go back and next cycle. See, it's not permanent. He just talked so about that. You can't. We all know the His time's almost up. Matter of fact, I sat he has a few seconds left. I wonder if he knows. They looked at me and said, are you guys really considering this? And I said, we are. They said, man, if we can only get our party to do the same. I said, you never will. Because you're too close-minded and you're not open. Oh, if you think they just slammed some more Republicans. That they're too close-minded. If we can let the independents into our party, it would make a difference. 230,000 voters in Oklahoma would make a difference. People are talking in the hallway back there. People are heated. I see a lot of arms across the chest looking at the body language. If we invite them into our party, our goal, why we're here, shouldn't be just getting more folks registered. It should be getting more Democrats elected. And that's the way it That's been the theme of the afternoon, the convention. It's not about registration. It's about getting Democrats elected. Great applause to this man's speech. Great applause. opposition. He has five minutes and three seconds from the additional time. I think we're on the last speaker against the resolution. To the people of this convention. Looks like a common working man. Independents have already made their choice. They opted out. They are already chiding this speaker. The independents already have made their choice. They opted out of the Democratic Party. Why should we opt them in? Democrats Good point. Only 25% of independents showed up to vote last November. Our people may drag the My goodness. polls, but 75% of independents don't give a rip about our party or our Tiffany. Tiffany, I thought you did well. We have enough to do as a party. Connecting with the people we have party to the party and declare their affiliation. Mm -hmm, it sure does. Why should we increase our commitment in our cost of primaries in a tough fundraising that was Tiffany, a delegate from Tulsa County. If a campaign wants, That's to, do, earlier. wants to talk to independents in a primary, go for it. No one's stopping you. Go talk to them now. My suggestion, though, would be that you go talk to all the Democrats first. <laughs> Peter. I run campaigns. I know what targeting is. Don't lecture me on metrics. Hey, Stappy. I know what it takes to win. Do my podcast. So those are the comments. And I know that we don't talk to our Democrats. And this guy speaking is against the resolution. Here in Oklahoma County, we I see what response he gets. Simply by focusing on get out and talking to our own people, we nearly won our county, and we press is here for Joe Norman. It's not just what the campaign does. Apparently he's a Joe Dorman supporter. Again, Joe Dorman had run for governor of Oklahoma, lost to incumbent governor Mary Fallon, or as we call her, Mary Fallon. But she is the governor. I respect the office. Just peculiar, that's all. 
Assuming that we want to bite off more than we can chew, what will the effects be? Hard to call. In Oklahoma City, we may get more... In a short while, we'll have a recess, and we'll be able to speak to some of the varied state delegates and what their thoughts are on this resolution or on the Democratic Party in Oklahoma at large. I feel like we've been talking in favor of this for a couple hours. So let's talk about what this does in rural Oklahoma. You know, it's not enough to do commentary or to complain, which conversation is good. But I think people need to speak up, be heard, and get involved. Speak your mind. 25% more at the horse to knock. There's always someone in more need than more you. To do. We haven't even talked to all of our Democrats yet. You can give someone a ride to the polls. So many I different heard things. If it doesn't work in our favor, then we can just shut the door. How about this? I'm going to invite you to my house for dinner, and when you get there, I'm going to slam the door in your face. Uh, he's kind of rude. Hey. Well, I... This is probably an armchair the political. Analyst that's speaking that thought everybody would agree with him. Y'all is being used a lot in this speech. But you know, he's speaking his mind. Gotta give him kudos for that. I'll check the chat in a minute. That was nine years ago. And it was here in the place that we all right now stand. As a returning student to O Triple Cheese, as we effectively call, affectionately call this institution, that I registered to vote for the first time, within five feet of where I stand now. I got oh, well, that's ironic. So you I registered to vote in this room. And we held a bank Twenty-nine years ago, I think. There. Why to raise money for body armor for our troops when Jim Inhofe was voting against? Maybe it was Jim nineteen years ago. I met my wife here with the Democrats. And this is home for him. I would just say this. Oklahoma City. I would City. just say this. That we are not, have, this is not a silver bullet. There are not enough independents. There is no real Oklahoma based data to tell us what they believe. I know a lot of independents that are progressive. I know Against a lot of fear of speaking, right -wing, right -wing, that we don't know what they think. But honestly, do they really know what Democrats in Oklahoma think? I think not, because it is so varied here, and we are so few. At the end of the day, if we stand for nothing, we're going to fall for anything. And I feel like we're about to take a fall. He thinks we're about to take a fall if we pass this resolution. Yeah, I wanted to hear real reasons for and against. Some of the delegates delivered. And the state chair has taken the microphone from him. They are going to do the vote. I may have to conclude this and start over. i got to sit with my people. i got to find a way to sit down somewhere. My Veterans Committee okay. appointees for Sergeant Arms, please seal the doors. Can I sit there? Sure. Oh, goodness. Still doing my podcast. If you are a voting delegate, please step onto the carpet. If you are a non voting delegate, please step onto I think I have three chatters. That's about it. Or in the guest section over here. They will do the voting this time by the counters asking a row to rise. So it will be a row at a time. Please rise do you when you were seat? asked. Sit when you were asked oh. so we can get an accurate count. These They're measures counting the proxies are and delegates. Majority vote. Uh, Just to see how many there are, I believe. The assembly they have locked the doors. No bathroom break now. On the carpet, please. You have to stay on the carpet. I'm glad no, I'm, I don't back. have to step on the carpet. You're not a delegate. <laughs> I'm thinking of animals. You step off the carpet or back in the guest section. 
Let's see here. Let's unplug this one. All of the honors, please take their place. 